Hi, my name is Dan Poulter, Technical Manager at Shaw Moisture Meters here in Bradford, and today we're going to look at the SADP dew point meter with the SU3 sample panel. <coughs> so, this is the SADP dew point meter, and this is the SU3 sample panel, which is designed to uh, precondition process gases to present an ideal sample to the sensor. It consists of the uh, sample inlet. Stainless steel filter, pressure regulator, rated at 210 bar in, and 0 to 1 bar out. We then have a pressure gauge, 0 to 10 litre flow, in, flow meter, and that's piped into the instrument by the Okay, before we start using the SADB two point meter, with the SU3 sample panel, uh, we first need to purge the system. So in industrial plants where uh, sample lines are often isolated for long periods of time, it's important for us to purge those lines before we connect up to the SU3 sample system. So once the sample lines have been purged, we can connect those up to the SU3. And then we can purge the SU3 sample panel itself, which will have been exposed to ambient conditions. We need that purge up before we expose any gas to the sensor, which has been kept in the dry down position and isn't exposed to ambient conditions. So first of all, open the pressure regulator. And then we can adjust the flow meter. So for sampling we want a flow of about 2 to 5 litres, but for purging we can go higher than that. So once we're happy that the sample line has been purged, and the SU3 sample system has been purged, then we can expose the sensor to the process gas by raising the dry down head. And that's done by covering the outlet allowing the pressure in the system to raise the head. And at that point we can start to take readings. Right, so after five minutes the SADP has come into equilibrium with the process gas. Uh, the needle has stopped moving, so we're ready to take a reading. And once that's done, we can put the sensor back in the dry down position turn off the dew point meter and then we can disconnect it and we can move on to the next point.